the newly elected Rajya Sabha MP Sana Jauba returned to Imphal today. He went to the national capital for the oath-taking ceremony. Upon arriving at Birtikendrajit International Airport, he was screened for COVID-19 but tested negative. Enforcing strict lockdown rules in Nonne district, the police appealed to all to follow the newly led government protocols. The police also detained some youths at Khumji Bajar for defying the prohibitory orders during lockdown. Activities related to medical, water supply and electricity are exempted from the purview of the lockdown and curfew. Thobal Commando Yaripok Post and Yaripok Fire Substation campuses were announced as containment zones today. The announcement came after one day of personnel of Yaripok Fire Substation was found to be COVID-19 positive. The campuses were sanitized using sodium hypochlorite today under the supervision of District Police Thobal, Superintendent of Police Dr. S. Ibomcha. 31 more COVID-19 positive cases were registered in Manipur in the last 24 hours, taking the tally to 2,146. These new cases were confirmed at Virus Research and Diagnostic Laboratories VRTLs of RIMS and Genims, District Hospitals of Jiribam and Thaubal, according to the state COVID-19 Common Control Room. The number of active cases in the state now stands at 655, with 31 people being discharged in the last 24 hours. The number of recovered cases has risen to 1,491. The recovery rate is 69.47%. Two terrorists were killed and a soldier injured in an encounter that broke out on the outskirts of Srinagar today, police said. Security forces launched a cordon and search operation in the Ranbirgar area on the outskirts of the city this morning. Following information about the presence of terrorists there, a police official said. As the forces were conducting the search, terrorists fired upon them, he said, adding that the forces retaliated ensuing an encounter. The areas fall in Panjinara on the outskirts of Srinagar city, bordering North Kashmir's Baramula district. Exchange of firing is going on and further details are awaited, a media report said. India witnessed a single-day spike of 48,916 positive cases and 757 deaths according to the previous day's figures released by the Health Ministry today. India's cases have jumped from 12 lakh to 13 lakh within just two days, while Maharashtra's infections have crossed the 3.5 lakh mark. The total COVID-19 positive cases now stand at 13 lakh 36,861, including 4 lakh 56,071 active cases, 8 lakh 49,400. 131 cured discharge migrated cases and 31,358 deaths, according to media reports. Meanwhile, human trials for Bharat Biotech's Covaxin began at the All India Institute of Medical Science in Delhi yesterday. A 30-year-old man received the first shot of Covaxin. Sagol Sam Johnston of Thaubal Charangpat Mayailekai has designed a new automatic hand wash machine. Johnston, aged 27 years, son of Sagol Sam Kamdev Singh and Sagol Sam Ongbi Ngangbi Devi always has a keen interest in the field of electronics despite having an honors degree in geography from YK College, Wangjing. The machine can be operated by electricity, solar energy and battery. A cabinet meeting chaired by Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot last night discussed the six points raised by Governor Kalras Misra for calling an assembly session as per media reports. The meeting was held at the Chief Minister's residence which lasted for nearly two and a half hours.